All right, guys, so today it's Monday Motivation, and I'm going to talk about how to fix this from taking pictures of me. So annoying. So not fabulous. All right. Today we're gonna to talk about you guys on a Monday motivation is how to beat this depression. Now, a lot of you guys do suffer from depression, so I want to make things fun. What I try to explain to people is that they don't recognize stress. Now stress can be anxiety, it can be ADD, it can be like sort of manic or bipolar, or it can just be pressure, headache, uh, stress can come from not getting enough sleep. Stress from can be from hypoglycemia. So the first thing is you need to recognize what stress is. Now stress can also be inflammation. So if I go skateboarding and bump my elbow, I can raise my CRP levels, which is C-reactive protein, which is my inflammatory markers. And you can see very quickly that the inflammation in my body will rise just with one fall on a skateboard. Now, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach can have the same response. When you guys stress, then you have all this acid buildup and you feel heartburn because your acids are too low. So we need to decompress and de-stress from all that kind of stuff. So one of the things is getting your body into nature. Now, I know that sounds really lame, but it's kind of true because we need a lot of oxygen. We don't get enough oxygen because a lot of you guys are inside buildings. So this is the main reason why I'm always on my bicycle. I could just jump in my car, but why? Why would I jump in my car when I can actually ride my bike? <laughs> That's what we want. We want to be able to get enough oxygen and not just through exercise, but outside. So that hiking riding a bicycle, it's walking, it is things like just getting a nice breath of air in nature, taking your shoes off, put your feet in the dirt. Believe it or not, this has a cellular response when it comes to lowering your stress, lowering your cortisol. Now, a lot of people react to stress because this is your neocortex and your personality is right there. Right? So sometimes you've got things that are plugged in together, like a lot of cords, like a plug into a wall. And what you want to do is unplug things. So these are stress plugs. We want to unplug them. And a lot of you guys don't recognize that you are stressed until you put yourself in another environment. So things that you want to think about is, like I said, exercise is super important. I don't care if it's just 10 minutes a day, better that you get up, move your body, right? Move your body for just freaking 10 minutes first thing in the morning if you have that type of schedule where you cannot literally work out until your day's off. Do not work out at night because that's going to invert the cortisol, which is gonna make you awake. And I made another video about sleep hygiene and we don't wanna be awake because if you don't sleep deep enough, you are going to be agitated, annoyed, insulin resistant, sore. Uh, you're not gonna function properly up in here if you have any type of mental instability from not sleeping. Now you also wanna address things like candida. Candida is a crazy, crazy, nasty fungal infection that can go up to the brain and make you a little bit coo coo coo, right? Also you wanna fix the gut. So there's the gut brain connection. People don't understand the vagus nerve is going all the way down to the gut, sending signals up here to the medulla, the hypothalamus pituitary, and then to the adrenals, and then bah, 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 you're stressed. So you need to understand stress. Just because you think you don't feel it doesn't mean that you are not stressed. Even sitting like this with your body in a C shape, right, is creating stress on the organs, which puts stress here. There's a lot of different kinds of stress 
stress from not breathing enough. A lot of you people don't breathe enough, enough, which means that you're not oxygenated, which means that you get tense, your central nervous system is tense, and then you're tense, and it's a cluster frack of a mess. So with that said, you also have to consider your hypoglycemia. When your blood sugar slams and hits the floor, you're irritated, you're cranky, you're moody, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go next into the hormones, but we have to consider all of the different things, right? You got here, 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 and here, all these different types of stresses, and these stresses can block your keto adaptation. You won't produce viable ketones if you can't sleep well and if you are stressed. Your blood sugar is gonna be like this, so you have to learn how to interpret that glucometer, and you have to also learn how to interpret it how to read ketones, and then you have to write down your symptoms. A lot of you guys crash in the afternoon because you're having reactive hypoglycemia, which makes you freaking depressed and cranky and moody and agitated. Then we have our reproductive hormones, right? Women have their uh, uterus right here and their ovaries, and men, well, you know where your stuff is, okay? And when men, when their testosterone tanks and they have too much DAT and too much estradiol, they're moody, they're cranky. Okay, and women go through PMS, cranky, menstrual cycle, the cycle itself. Men don't understand how crazy the hormones get when women go through their 28-day cycle. Now, with that said, guys, uh, finding ways to eat, eat the right foods, right? Eat ketogenic foods, try to find out what histamine responses you're having, try to detox that liver because that's creating a problem with the estrogen buildup. Learn how to poop because a lot of you guys don't know how to poop. You don't. You have thyroid problems, you have peristalsis, paralyzes peristalsis, right? The pipes from being able to contract, you guys have a problem with your ileocecal valve, and if you're backed up, you're stressed. So each little thing you have to address. Is it the food that's constipating you? Is it the thyroid that's constipating you? Or is it the candida that's constipating you? Is it a reaction, a histamine reaction to certain foods that's constipating you? These are the things you have to deconstruct. You gotta take one food at a time, eat it, write down, take your blood sugar and see if everything goes haywire. What you find out, eliminate what's bloating you or making you have loose stool. Then when it comes to sleeping, the whole sleep hygiene of don't take showers right before bed, learn how to breathe and meditate. Take walks. If you don't have time to work out, do not work out at night. If you're too tired in the morning, don't do a full workout and go to the gym at 3 a.m. in the morning. All right, guys, cuckoo. Night shift workers, I'll go into that later. But now I gotta go because I'm gonna do a series on all of this, how to de-stress and how to have fun, guys. I skateboard, I freaking love photography. You guys know I'm loving some horses. I love being in nature, I love hiking out in nature. I love traveling around the world. Focus on that. Take off what off your plate what you don't need and put on your plate what you need. People try to just pile the plate. You can't do everything, people. That's the reason why I didn't do high quality videos five years ago because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. But now I can do it. So with that said, love this place, Liberate, that I'm filming in. Great content is coming. Watch out. You guys know I've got a website, stephanieperson.com, where you can have a one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. You can also go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, where I have a lot of free content on my stories and on my page. You can also go to Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page, or you can go to stephanieperson.com to check out my course where I do low carb, high fat, keto carnivore, and keto omnivore, which is with plants because I know what to do. I got the business. This is the business at almost 52, almost 12 years on this planet of doing this no carb, well, low carb, high fat, ketogenic protocol. And now I gotta go. Deuces. Deuces.